In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to trace the path of your character in Scratch. So we'll go to Create first. And we start off our game as usual by going to Events and getting the green flag. Now we need an extra feature here that we haven't used up to now, and it's called Add Extension, and it's a menu down here at the bottom on, on the left of your screen. So you click on that, and you choose an extension here called Pen. And then what you do is you, you put Pen down like this. And back up to motion and under motion what you can do then is you can just maybe pick the first one there move 10 steps for example and now if we click the, the green arrow you can just watch what happens or the green flag everywhere he goes he leaves um, a pin mark after him so you can trace uh, your path like that so that's the basic idea of how it works. And now we're going to combine that with um, a previous program that we wrote, uh, where we allow the character to go up, down, left, and right, according to the arrows that you press on the keyboard. So we'll, we'll put that together again. So we'll get the move statement out of here. And uh, we're going to go back to our forever loop, which is a loop that, r that runs as long as the game is, is, is playing, as long as the green flag um, has been pressed. And so there's your forever, and within that, we have four um, if statements, uh, one for each of the correction, up, left, up, down, left, and right. So you have four of these. So put in your four ifs. Get rid of this. And okay, for each um, for each option, we have left left right or we'll say right left first i suppose go into sensing and if this key is pressed so if right arrow is pressed that's the first option there what we want to do if the right arrow is pressed is we want to uh, go to the right so that's back to motion again and change x by 10 that means move horizontally 10 places Then do something similar for going to the left. So under sensing again, when the left arrow is pressed, uh, that means change X by minus 10 because going to the left is a minus. Plus means going to the right, minus means going to the left when you have the X coordinate. So we will uh, go to motion. Set X, oh, sorry, change X, change X by minus 10 this time. So put in your minus 10. So that's the first two arrows. And now we just have to do two more, one for up and one for down. Uh, we can even test our code already um, here. We can maybe stop the code is already running and just start again and we can move him to the left or to the right and you can see there that he does trace a path behind him now we just need to do the same for up and down so we'll stop the code again and uh, so now back to sensing If key up arrow was pressed, and we might as well do the other one while we're here. Uh, this one here. If down arrow was pressed. Now back to motion. Change Y. Y is the vertical direction. So we, um, we want to go up 10. If the, key, if the up arrow was pressed, we want to go up 10 places. And similarly, if we want 
if the down arrow is pressed, we want to go down 10 places. So that's a minus again, minus 10 in the, in the vertical direction. So that should be it. Uh, let's test our code. So I'll start again. So now try up and down. So they're now also working. And there's left and there's right. So we can trace interesting patterns using that. One last thing, I suppose, is every time you stop the game and start it again, uh, the pattern is still there in the background, so you don't have a clean background anymore. So what you can do each time you start the game is one more command, go back to pen again. And before you start, you should clean your background or clean your, your whiteboard, if you want to call it a whiteboard, and erase all. So click on the erase all. So you should always start by erasing everything before you start. So we stop again and start. Now, at the start, everything is clean again. And we can start moving our character right, down, left, up. So, so you can see how this could be used to develop um, other games. This basic motion could be very important in, in, a, in certain games. So um, there you have it. You can trace any pattern you want.